What's going on guys? How you doing? Thanks for tuning in to another short video. This is Bethel with Innovation Fishing. Out here in my uh, garage again, trying to finalize this uh, this build out for this, uh, this skiff, the H skiff. Uh, you guys know that I haven't been using this H skiff yet because I haven't really completed my build to be able to be out in the, out in the water. So. This is what I have guys is let me put you on camera there, but we finally got the trolling motor installed yesterday There's gonna be a short video for that also so that you can see that um, Coming up, but now the thing that I have is this is there is a battery pack Which is right here But I don't want to have the battery pack just anywhere You know they I don't want to do that. I want to be able to just leave it inside and be able to fish comfortably. So what I'm thinking about is I'm thinking about putting a deck plug on the actual uh, boat here. And that's what I'm gonna be tuning into today. So hopefully trying to get this in and showing you guys that, uh, that process. So stay tuned. All right guys, I'm all ready to start here with the first hole, well actually the hole for it. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can uh, I'm gonna see if I can go ahead and, and drill this out. You wanna, I sort of cut the, the wires down a little bit. I'm gonna bring you guys in closer a little bit here. So you can see what I'm talking about. I trimmed the, the plugs, the, the wire, because these are gonna be connected here eventually. And then I've gotta to try to find a spot where I can plug in where it's out of the deployment switch here and also it's out of my way. And at the same time, it could be a little bit maybe weatherproof as the boat is bringing on water in, you know, at least it'll protect it just a little bit there. So that's another thing that we can also do, okay? So uh, I'm thinking somewhere around this area, it's gonna be pretty good. Uh, I wanna be able to also pull the pin out without it being in the way. So I'm thinking somewhere around here is gonna be just fine. It'll be, sort of like a splice right there in that area. And the wires should be sort of tucked back and should be long enough. So let's give it a try. And again, this plug is gonna sit right at about right there in that area. So let's make a hole right here. Oh, reminder, safety glasses. You gotta be safe. There it is. Oh, that feel that hurts. That hurt a little bit, guys. Seeing that hole right there. Let me get my vacuum. Give me one second. All right, so there you have it. This is, supposedly, this is how it's gonna fit in there, okay? And it's gonna go right in there just like that. It's gonna sit just like this, and I'll be able to come in and plug in and plug out of that plug right there. So this might be just right for what we're gonna do. They did uh, tell me that if I wanted to use screws, I don't know, I might, I might still be using the screws versus these longer bolts. Uh, I think it'll be a little bit uh, easier to go ahead and swap it out whenever we are. And if it does happen to wall her out, if I ever do have to change this plug out, then I can always go with these guys and run it all the way through with some washers. So I think it's better if we just leave it just like that. Perfect. Not that bad. Once you do it, it doesn't feel that bad. So let's see what's next. Uh, the next thing is, we're gonna go ahead and uh, before we do this, we're gonna go ahead and splice it in through the bottom. 
because I don't want to, let me see if these things will go through, so I don't want to have to be fighting these, oh no, yeah, we're fine, so these will be the connectors that are going to go under at the bottom, these are some of that uh, FPV connectors, quick connectors, so these guys will go through the bottom and the battery will be inside of here. So next step is, let's go ahead and mount, where did it go? Let's go ahead and mount this guy here. Actually, we'll splice it. So y'all stay tuned for that portion. I'll, I'll bring you back. All right, guys, so back with you real quick. This is what you are gonna, are gonna need for this build out, okay? You're gonna fast, first have to go find yourself some 12 volt because my Minn Kota power drive is 12, it runs off a 12 volt system. So you need one of these plugs, the female and the male plug for inside, actually for outside. You will be splicing all this in and it will be going into it. You're also gonna need a hole saw and the hole saw, the size that fits, and I'm gonna put the camera down just real quick and show you what I'm talking about. But this plug right here, it's actually gonna be on the deck and it's gonna go right here somewhere. And you're gonna to have to make a hole big enough to be able to justify for this to be able to land inside of there. So I have measured it out. One key point that you can actually follow is get you a piece of cardboard just like this and then come through and just make your hole with it. All I did is just turned it by hand and made the hole with it. And then you're gonna be able to see that when you run the wires right through there, it fits just perfect, as you can see there, right? So it's got just barely enough wiggle room, which is that's what you actually want when it comes to this build out. So quick little tip, get you a little piece of cardboard, make that hole, make sure you got the right hole bit. And again, uh, I don't know what's out there in the market, but I got these from, uh, um, what is that, uh, West Marine? down in Galveston, and I'm able to find that there. They only had one, actually, so uh, if you guys are looking to purchase one of those, you might have to order them online. But anyway, so like I said, get you a hole saw. I got this hole saw kit for $29 at uh, Harbor Freight. All you need is one. That's another one. You're also gonna need a, believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is an 11, 30 seconds, uh, socket you're going to need some small stainless steel screws i just got the lock washer and the the screw i got it long enough because it's does not really going to matter if it's longer than what it is because i can always cut it down if i have to on that aspect get you some uh some flat washers you're going to need some crimpers when we crimp this wire to be able to do that and you're going to need a drill bit and then also there's caulk it's multi-sealing caulk so one of the guys uh, there at the uh, West Marine came out and said, what I, asked me what I was doing, and he suggested this type of caulk because this is a flexible caulk, okay? And uh, he told me that this would be the best operation for that type of plug that I'm doing. So this is another one right here from West Marine, if you guys want to purchase that as well there. So uh, let's see what we got. Let's see. Uh, go ahead and get ready and make this hole, see what uh, we can do. Drilling a hole in a boat, it's like, I was telling Mark yesterday, it's like shooting your dog, man. It feels so bad, you know? But uh, something that you'd never want to do. Uh, but in this case, it's a, it's a must have because I don't want those wires hanging out everywhere. So stay tuned and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I ran into a little problem. The connectors that I have here were not the same size, even though this wire that's here is fitting on there pretty tight. As you can see, it goes in. Even if I tightened up all this wire that's here, it still, still doesn't want to go inside of this connector. So what I ended up doing is I ended up cutting a little bit of the strands 
um, just so that we can get our space that we needed. So let's try it again and see if we can get in here. There it is, it went in a little bit. I took a little bit of the strands out. Let's see if that's not gonna hurt us. I like it, I like the connection. Let's just make sure it works over here on this side. So another thing that I did is also is, uh, before I do this, I wanna make sure that I put in my heat shrink in there as well, just to double, let me see if this is it. No, this is not it. Uh, let me go get my heat shrink real quick, be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. So this little heat shrink kit is awesome. Get you a couple of these. Put them on the wire before you always, I know I always forget. So just sort of stick them on there. Let's go ahead and get the other one on there so we don't forget it. There it is. All right. So now we got our wires ready to be spliced into our connector here. So let's go red, positive on positive. Uh, let's see if it'll make it. Yes, that one went pretty well. So there's something about this other wire over here that's got a little bit more strands. off like that make sure it's a good connection and let me see oh yes I am recording all right guys and now the final one man that one went all the way in so definitely it's something up with the connector wire versus anything else so there's our crimp. We're all done with the pliers. We're good to go. I like our connections. I'm tugging on them and they're pretty stiff, pretty good. So now it's time to find our torch. Where did I leave it? Right here. So same thing here. We'll go ahead and uh, we'll torch this down and get these wires sealed. Be careful not to burn your fingers. Coming through here. And we'll slide the black portion on there just to give it a little bit extra protection and go ahead and heat shrink those bad boys out. Looking good, looking good. I like it. I like this connector. Perfect. Right there, guys. So, I like it. I don't know what you guys think. It's long enough cable for me to be able to connect it there. Um, it does what it does. Uh, last and final thing is I was able to find some of this braided wire loom. It's a little additional extra protection for the wire. 
It's the 38 size, 10 feet. And I want to say this guy right here at AutoZone was somewhere around maybe $9 or so. But since, you know, the, the hot sun and all that stuff basically comes in a little strand just like this. And what you want to do is we're going to sort of measure it all the way to here, all the way through the wire, come all the way to the end, and then we'll go ahead and get a little cut. Scissors here. There it is. And it is recommended that you burn the tip a little bit just to melt it and not allow it to keep running. So that's what the package says. Well, not the package, that's what the guys at the shop said. So here it is. It does split apart. So we'll go ahead and split it right through here. Kind of a little difficult to get it on there, but I'm pretty sure as soon as I get it on there, everything's gonna change. There it is. All right, so now. Oh yeah, that's gonna look good. That's gonna look real good, guys. Look at that, that's looking good. Man, seems a little bit harder to do than what it is. There it is. Get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there. Whoo! Burn, get the burn on there. Almost done, almost done, guys. This little piece back here in the back. And we're in. There it is, guys. So take a look at this real quick. Little protect it. Move, out, move all this out of the way. Nice and protected. Now, um, we're going to do one more final thing on here. Let's get about four of these zippy ties just to keep it in place. Space them out a little bit. Okay, and one more right over here. Perfect. Cut the tails on them. There it is, guys. All right, so what do you guys think? I mean, I think it came out pretty good. Look at that. And now my plug is gonna be able to just come in here, 
and just go just like that. If I ever want to take it off, it's very, very tight connection. So I like it already. Tight fit. Whoa, man, that's a tight fit. Oh, and one more step. See this little uh, protector? It's like a little gel looking thing. Didn't quite open up right. There it is. I wanna put some in here. Just to be able to be on the safe side. So I always keep it just right. Now let's see. Let's see what we got. God almighty, very, very tight. There it is. Guys, that's a tight fit. Very, very, very tight fit. It almost like weather tight. Look at it. I mean, that had that took some strength to get it in there. It's got a little triangle on there where it lines up just right. But you know what? This connection, I feel good that it's gonna be weather tight and not get me in there. So now we'll go ahead and move all this other stuff out the way so that we can try out the trolling motor. And please excuse all this mess. I'll clean it up in a little bit. Let me move you guys out of the way. Take these off. And now, we'll open this guy up. There's some stuff to vacuum inside of there, so let's go ahead and vacuum that out first. <laughs> with that so now as you can see guys the reason why I wanted to do this is because this little compartment right here I'm going to use it to be able to connect my battery so now that I've got this I can go ahead and come in here connect that and if it all goes well it's gonna it's gonna turn on there it is there's that little click eventually I'll come in here and I'll find me a little mounting area to be able to stick this thing in there and to hold it in place so that it doesn't move around out of the way. The only thing you see is just this connection here. There's no big deal. And where is my connection? Uh, there's my connector right over there. Let me go get it. Okay, guys, I'm gonna put you over here real quick on this side. Now, moment of truth, moment of truth. We'll come in here and now deploy, just like that. And since it is connected, we should be able to turn it on. And there it is, beautiful. Gets all the speeds. And we're able to turn it all the way through. Man. Stop it real quick. Guys, I'm going to close out this video. I think that this build out is perfect for a beginner. I have never done this type of stuff. Here it is right here. Man, I love the way it came out. I love how neat it looks because I'm a neat freak on this here. So, when it comes to that, guys, tell me what you think. Put your comments below. And to me, it looks real nice and decked out. Hardly any work there. So hopefully take this guy in the water. I know Mark said something about uh, getting this guy and, and uh, going out to the local Bay Area here and go check it out and see what's up. And now I got to pick up all this mess. 
But hopefully this video entertained you. Hopefully this video helped you out if you're looking in the, in the market to installing one of these or any of these type of plugs or any electrical stuff that's there. Hopefully uh, be able to help you. I thank you for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe and like this video and also tell everybody about it. I'm trying to grow my channel and I need y'all's help to do so. So um, see you guys on the water. Thank you so much.